One particular share that has shot into my value screen shortlist is made.com. And why has that happened? Because boy oh boy has its share price been crushed. If you invested at its IPO of 200p, you would actually be down 96% to 8p. And boy, does that sound crazy. And that means if you'd invested 2,000 pounds of your hard-earned cash, it would now only be worth 80 pounds. And that must be crushing the shareholders who went in at the IPO price. But I'm here to help you decide, is there any merit to buying it now? Firstly, why has it crashed? Well, there are a few reasons why, but one of them is that the consumer cyclical sector has seen a downturn recently with rip-roaring inflation looking to reach almost 18% next year in the UK, meaning that consumers spend less money on consumption. And this means less customer spending power. Add to the fact that they've been threatening a fundraise in probably the worst environment to do a fundraise in from the perspective of you, the shareholder, and this has caused a remarkable collapse in its share price. And the board has now actively written that they foresee sales and profits to fall. And this is actually quite a gloomy thing when the board themselves are not optimistic this is actually double reason to be concerned from a shareholder point of view. So is it worth a buy from the fundamental perspective? So I'm very systematic in the way that I look at my stocks. I always want to buy something which is supported by strong underlying fundamental value. So let's look at its revenue or sales trend. This is up from 173 million in 2018 to 372 million in 2021. And this looks very encouraging if it were not for the fact that the board were writing that they expect sales now from this point on to decline. Next, let's look at the profits. And this is where we become a bit stuck actually. Made.com has actually never been profitable. Its loss margin is actually widening. This is actually particularly worrying as during the pandemic, a lot of consumer oriented companies and e-commerce companies were making a lot of money, including profits. And it's particularly concerning when Made.com, one of them, just did not make a profit. However, despite this, they're sitting on a cash pile of $107 million. And think about this, this is more than double their market capitalization. This means that irrespective of any other assets that they own, the amount of cash they have is actually worth more than double the value of the entire company, which is absolutely bonkers. And looking at it this way, it actually makes it look pretty damn cheap, actually. Furthermore, its net book value, which is essentially total assets minus total liabilities, is actually positive $85 million. So it there suggests that they're not actually under that much crippling debt at the moment. So let's go through a few final thoughts. Now, the threat of fundraising and the threat of a direct offering is only something that unfortunately ever puts a downward pressure on shares. And this doesn't really allow a share price to recover because you only can ever realistically make a direct offering at the current price of shares. So from the perspective of the company, no one will actually buy it for what you think that the company is actually worth because the existing cohort of shareholders are buying and selling for the current market price of 8p. Furthermore, it's very tempting that its cash pile is so huge, but if current losses actually widen, then this will be eaten through rather quickly. However, as things stand, this does offer tremendous value. And if everything were liquidated right now, shareholders would see profits over and above their initial investment. So overall, from my perspective, made.com is a risky proposition, but damn is it tempting at current prices.